Good morning friends, it's Darcy with River Wranglers with today's watershed adventure. Today we're going to be talking about this tiny little critter. Guessing you can tell it's part of the weasel family. This is a stoat or an ermine. Um, this is a, a small little weasel. Um, grows to a max of about a foot long. Um, stays pretty tiny. This coat on this one is white. This is the winter coat of the ermine. Um, usually in the in the warmer temperatures in the summer, they're brown on the top and white underneath. But in the winter, they turn completely white uh, for the most part in order to protect themselves um, amidst the snow from predators. So these guys can live up to seven years in the wild, but generally live only one to two. Um, they have various predators that include cats, um, birds of prey, things like that, that will feast on them. Um, but their fur, super, super soft. I wish you could touch it. But it was used in the fur trade in Europe and mostly worn by royals. Um, it was very prized and still is in some places, but it's these are these guys are not very endangered are not endangered at all they are um, are hunted extensively in some places but their populations are are stable and and significant um, they are not are nocturnal they can actually travel up to nine miles in a single night to find prey they are carnivores so they're going to feed on small birds eggs fish bugs um, rodents, things like that. They have a very good sense of smell and hearing, which helps them obviously in their hunting and survival. They're generally pretty solitary. Um, when they do mate, they'll have litters generally around between four and nine, and, and they stay with mom for about a year until they're mature, and then they go off on their own, and they pretty much just live by themselves. Um, like a lot of the weasels, they do have anal scent glands that they mark their territory with and um, use to attract mates. So that's our little friend for today, the ermine. Um, you can look for these in riparian areas, definitely in the mountains. Um, and if you ever see one, take a picture and send it our way. Have a good day. We'll see you next time on Watershed Adventures.